How's it going, guys? I'm Oz, and welcome back to another episode of um, Life is Strange. Uh, last episode, we finally found out what happened to Chloe and how she ended up in a wheelchair and how her family are now in just such dire situations financially. Um, I'm really sorry about the interruptions from Lemon. It's, it's really bad, but he's my baby. I can't, I really can't ignore him. Um, so I've managed to get him seated in a little chair next to me, so I'm hoping that he doesn't interrupt me so much. He's obviously finding that rather interesting. <laughs> Sorry. I'll just let him do his thing, and then hopefully he'll just let me do my thing, which is returning back to the game. So, oh, see how it goes. Let's continue around. Look. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. When Frank was eating his beans Ooh, wonderful. at the diner, um, I honestly thought that they were just like a, one big massive cookie. No, he didn't like the chair, he's gone. Choices of food coupon, boss. I don't blame them. We don't really have food have food coupons here in Australia. Just like extra points. You know, when you spend so much money you get five hundred extra points. Just shoot me now. <sighs> just shoot me now. <laughs> Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. I blame them. They're drowning in debt just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Your joint account has been closed and is now six months overdue. Please send a check or money order for $3,500. Payable happy credit card. Payable to happy credit card. What the hell? Due to recent state and federal cuts, we regret to inform that your health insurance no longer covers Chloe's physical rehab. We can reinstate Chloe at a standard rate of twelve fifty per week. That's a load of crockery. I don't even know if, if that thing in real life can actually happen. How the bird's going off. God damn. Oh, it's all changed around. Ooh. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Hi, Joyce. Oh, my God. Really? Huh. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. Joyce is already a super mom. I'm just snooping around in your house. But don't mind me. Oh, no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. As we discussed last week, Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of rapid weakening. This accounts for a recent anemia and loss of breath. As a doctor, I'm committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand the reality that respiratory failure is common in people with severe spinal injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever had, and I'm proud to be working with her. I just want you as parents to prepare for any and all possibility. I believe Chloe should be also made aware of a changing condition. If you would wish to discuss this further, you have my contact information. Hmm. Buddy, come on. Come on. It's good for Chloe to stay in touch with her friends. Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. Mm. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. Probably William in his old camera thing. William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. Hmm. Okay, let's speak to Joyce then. Good morning, Max. Ah, oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. Yeah. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I, we're lucky to have him. Is William still the same? After everything that's happened? 
for better and for worse, but always for the better. I, I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. That sounds corny, I know. You rule, Joyce. Shit, things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. Mm. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she, she, do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family, and we'll always be one, no matter what. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Mm. Plus, you guys have to work too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. And we're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Mm. Stay away from his son, Nathan. David Madsen? Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. Yeah. You too, honey. Right, well, let's... I know. Things aren't as neat and tidy as they used to be. I still have a bad feeling about... Yeah. wonder if you can... Nope, 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 nope. Switch on. There's no bird here. Nothing here. Devastating. Um, I mean, it's devastating that there's no bird there. Not that, like, yeah. Um, I'm curious about what's in here now. Absolutely nothing. This doesn't feel right. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Thank you for keeping me updated on Chloe's condition. I can only imagine the struggle you and William are going through. I'm sorry that I can't help you with the loan at this time. Like everybody else, I'm underwater with my own medical bills. Please give Chloe a hug and my best wishes, Aunt Dorothy. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. It's crazy. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Shoes. Mm. Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. I never heard much about William's brother. Sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been piling up and I'm being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. You have to go where the work is these days. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check 
you can't spell check right. But you know the story. Money is nobody's favourite thing. Maybe I'll send... Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, Billy. Your brother, Aaron. Mm. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. It's still got her size and stuff so on the wall. I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? Yeah, but if Chloe's gonna die anyway. Hmm. Hang on, guys. I gotta put this cat away. He's disrupting too much. Bear with me. I tried. I tried. I guess we stopped growing up together. Wow. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Books, the whole butterfly effect thing. I wonder if I find some scissors or something. No, nope, it's a toy box. How's it going, Time Tripper? It's funny. I think I look older. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Mmm. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. That's a good point. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Natural doesn't always mean natural though. Like, it's a bit of a gray area. Nothing on the bookcase. It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? Okay, well, right. Can I go outside at all? The door is open. The house looks so great. William finally had the time to paint the house and fix up the garden. It does look tidier. Oh man, the swing is gone now. It must have been sad for Chloe when William took it down. I'm sorry, Bongo Kitty, but you passed on before I changed this reality. Mm. Look at all these dead birds. Oh. It's happening here too. Yeah, so it's worse. Not only is there just the dead birds, but beached up whales as well. This is bad. Um, so the drawing. Chloe actually moved our drawing so she could see it from her room. Um. Chloe. Whenever you can see us wandering outside. Bonjour. That's great. They finally went to Paris. Ooh, maybe. No, I don't. Hello again, William. Nice to see you back. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. 
But it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there, but that's not practical anymore. Mm. It's not fair, Max. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. Yeah, I don't need to listen through all that again. Damn. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. But Jesus, $8,500. Oh my god. This insurance is worthless. I could probably go upstairs and talk to Joyce about the Paris trip, but yeah. Finally, uh, give me the blue pill. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy and painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me, I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, mm. my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. This is gonna bring us back again. <laughs> wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. What a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund. As principal, I'm... Even if it wasn't another reality. As, a, as principal, I'm in sympathy with your numerous requests for Chloe's special needs in regards to her wheelchair and class ac accessibility, etc. Blackwell prides itself on making sure students with disabilities receive full compliance under the Americans with Disabilities Act. However, given the campus and buildings have all been reconstructed pre-1977, our school has not yet undergone the modern renovations necessary to fulfil all the needs of your daughter and her regrettable condition. Sadly, with recent deplorable um, federal cuts in education, it will, make, it will take many more fundraisers to fully update Blackwell Academy, but that day will come. Chloe is without a doubt an amazing student with great potential despite her handicap and I believe she could fi would find more a f more fitting rewarding sc uh, scholastic environment at the H. West Miskatonic Institute in Bolton. They have a rich legacy of disabil disabled graduates and I know that Chloe would achieve her usual academic leadership in a more comfortable surroundings. With her outstanding GPA, there is no doubt that um, that school would welcome Chloe with open halls. <laughs> I would, I hope you will seriously consider this suggestion, as I'm sure your daughter would prefer to attend a school that can cater to her many needs. In the same spirit, I've also enclosed brochures for other potential schools in Oregon region. If you have any questions, please contact my office. Principal Wells. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. I think I've already looked at the window and yeah, tape up. Brace yourself, guys. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me.
Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Yeah. I'm just saying if, like, if we wait, if someone will say something. Probably not. Okay. Just making sure. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. <laughs> I wish it was. Me too. This photo. Yeah, here we go. Maybe I could. Listen, Max, my respiratory system is failing, and, uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Seriously? <laughs> Chloe, I'll just drift to sleep, dreaming of us here together forever. Um, I see this all the time at my work, just people living in pain. And it's horrible. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. <laughs> I love you, Max. See you around. <laughs> Sooner than you think. Wow. Wow. Just when I thought that the game couldn't branch off any further, like, in the situations that they put us through. It's everything. So, uh, someone was telling me left. So hang on, you find the sweet spot and then focus. No. Oh. Oh, I'm just gonna go space. Oh, it won't let me do space. So, oh. There we go. Oh, what? No, oh. Press both. It's a dodgy system. I tried to do it in the playthrough on the weekend and I just. I couldn't get it to work. And now we're back here Someday again. Someday Dad will get one God of those damn. new fangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. <laughs> it's a 
the lesser of two Hello. evils. Like, hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. Are we like? Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. There's no way that we can go back to that day. He's never leaving me. Now that we have been the photo. Oh god, I'm so confused about what's going on. I hate this. What if we went in the car Max, with you? Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. She's I've so got tall. you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. <sighs> so does he die again? Yep. Please tell me she doesn't go back with that prick of David Madsen. Ugh. Why are we taking the board upstairs? Oh, what the fuck? So does Chloe know who we are again? Chloe, you're alive, yes. Whoa, whoa, down Max. You get one kiss and now you're all over me? I'm just... I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. So, did she- Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world. <laughs> I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. I feel a responsibility. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. Right. So I suppose I'm lost in all this shit. So I suppose um, if we went around, will there probably be more pieces on the board? I don't know. Be nice if you commented below if that was the case. <laughs> oh. So close yet so far away. We're not any closer to anything. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. To get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. 
and see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three beats Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Darkroom. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Yes, that's the solution. I know you, guys. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. Again, this is and the then third start with time. Some names and see where that leads. Or to who? And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not going to be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. This is just ridiculous. How many times do we have to I can't to abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. I should have known just erasing that phone message wouldn't stop the police. This price is Officer Anderson Barry, and since you we contact info on file here, we have to come by station on Monday, approximately 8 a.m., to answer a few questions about information regarding the recent break in. Mm. This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. How much time have I altered since? Maybe we need to let Chloe die in the bathroom. I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. Mm. Chloe's kind of like caught up on us, isn't she? Yes, Chloe Price was here. It's a lot of cigarettes. I feel like we're missing a major clue. Staying up all night is the best excuse to drink lots of coffee. Even Holmes and Watson didn't use every piece of information. Damn, this is a serious expose on the Prescotts. Finally. The name Prescott may not mean much to you or those outside the edges of the small coastal Oregon town, but this name is that means quite a bit in Arcadia Bay. A quaint town seemingly stuck in time. Once a home to a prosperous fishing and tourism is industry, the town has seen much better paydays despite the local success of the prestigious Blackwell Academy and its football and swimming teams, the Bigfoots and the Otters. Environmental changes to the area have reduced the number of fish and other sea life resulting in a stagnant economy and limited tourism. Oddly, the Prescotts have managed to keep their business interests quite profitable. In fact, the pine and expensive exclusive housing development known as Pan Estates to be built in the deep forest near Blackwell Academy. Local Native American groups have already filed uh, various motions against the development, citing widespread destruction of tribal lands and natural resources. Continued on next page. I don't want to sit in the bed. That's my Chloe. Oh my god. Bored snow globe. The snow dough is still broken apart. Like William from Chloe. Hmm. Never thought of it like that. <laughs> uh. No. That poor little bird has been trapped in here. Again. I'm sick of having to turn this light switch on all the time. Hmm. Oh, that blue dye makes me so happy. It means the real Chloe is back with me. Fly. There we go. Yes, it only took two episodes. 
you'll probably like die along with all the rest of the birds out there. <laughs> Righto. I think we might end it there, guys. Like, favorite, subscribe. I really hope you enjoyed the episode. Ah, oh, talk about dark. Get it? Because it's a dark room. Oh, God. I don't know what's going to happen next. But I'll see you again soon. Bye. Get the fuck out of my face. Ooh. Oh. <gasps> you are so fucking dead. Again? Seriously? Get off me, bro. Oh. Oh.